bringing sunshine to those who may have a little rain cloud in their midst, but For you're sure. also bringing us some sunshine today outside, so that's good That's news. right. We're seeing plenty of it across central Alabama. Another live look. This one's downtown. This is our new SkyCam edition from the BJCC. Temperatures currently 82 degrees. Those winds out of the east, southeast at around 8 miles per hour, kind of dragging in that gulf moisture, so those dew points are climbing just a bit. Temperatures across the board right now, we're looking at 81 in Tuscaloosa, still 79 degrees in Gadsden. Aniston's at 80 with Alabaster sitting at 81. Okay, we've talked about the dry scan on the storm track radar right now. I've overlaid our satellite imagery, which is basically satellite taking lots of pictures uh, out in outer space of the Earth's surface, and that is where we are getting those cloud cover picked up in parts of Utah as well as Demopolis. Now, as we move our attention westbound, the radar is showing us quite the picture from St. Louis all the way down through Little Rock, Arkansas, all the way down towards NOLA. It looks like it's going to be a rain and stormy day across parts of the western edge of the deep south. So we are preparing and embracing for what could potentially be some strong storms moving through Mississippi over the next several hours. But by the time it reaches us here in Alabama, I have some good news to bring you. I think we're going to see that threat for severe weather really start to diminish. Now, I'm not ruling out a rumble of thunder. I'm not ruling out some gusty winds, but I think a tornado threat would be pretty low at this point, and that slight risk for severe weather remains well to our west or to the south. All right, let me go ahead and fast forward the clock to 830 tonight. And that's when we can start to see maybe just a couple of showers from about 830 until 1230. Just after midnight, those storms begin rolling through west and then lifting up toward north Alabama. And then again, I think the strength of the storm remains just to our south. It could be impacting places like Perry County. And then from about midnight to 4 a.m., a lot of the activity south of I-20 as it scoots across 65 south of Birmingham, impacting Alabaster, Clinton, and Talladega. Then by 6 o'clock, the bulk of the stormy activity will push off to the east. But then here's Here's what we'll be left with. Thursday, we'll see continual kind of waves of rain, periods of wet weather here and there. So these sporadic showers are really going to impact our Thursday afternoon. And then finally, by Thursday evening, most of this rain should slowly begin to come to an end. And we could see just a couple of early morning showers on Friday. Turning much cooler, though, Friday at 64. 70s, though, and sunshine's back for your weekend. And that is a look at your storm track seven-day forecast. Jamie? Oh, thank you.